Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Top Player Mouse. We have something different for you today. We have these slugs that are made out of Fimo clay, or polymer clay to be more precise. And if you have kids, you've probably seen this stuff before, but it was actually new to me. Now this was sent to me by Sar Tal from Israel. He just sent just the clay and also a set of molds. Using the molds, I was able to make these Diablo-shaped slugs. Once you have it in the shape you want, you put it in the oven and it actually hardens. Notice that there is no cavity in the back like you would find with an air rifle pellet. We'll see how that affects the ballistics through both smoothbore and a rifled shotgun. Alright, well, we're going to try something different now. Um, this is uh, Crafter's Clay Oven Hardening. I think they call it Fimo. Fimo Filo Putty, Filo Dough, Filo, Fimo, Fimo. I don't know. It's good to put wrong stuff in there so people can have an excuse to comment and, and <laughs> <laughs> we like throwing them softballs out there yeah. so people can, who normally wouldn't comment, give them something to complain about. Well, this is that uh, Diablo shape, the classic Diablo shape that always seems to work good on everything, and uh, but no hollow base. The hollow base is more, as far as I understand, for air rifles so that that skirt will flare out and engage the rifling. We're gonna prove or disprove that that works or not. <laughs> if we're not doing it wrong, we're not trying hard enough. And we're gonna run them through just federal target loads. Just stuffed in a federal target load to replace the shot. So yeah. we might be getting some good velocities out of them if they hold together. All right, here we go. Woo, Eight, 889? 889. All right, that worked better than I thought. There's our point of impact. I was aiming about here. But regardless, it held together all the way to the target. <laughs> it cracked it. I thought it would get higher velocity in that, but not bad. I mean, it was like 45 ACP velocity there. That's, I wouldn't want to get hit by it. No, no, no. That plate's not thin. No, it shattered the the little uh, slug there. Yeah, there's little pieces all pieces over the place. All over. Yep. Okay, let's find something else to shoot at. Now, Danny, make sure you don't hit those cars out there that are three and a half miles away. Is it? it uh, they can shoot that far in Call of Duty, you know. Ten hundred and eleven, as they say in the fifties. As you can see, we have excellent stability using the rifle barrel, giving it good angular momentum. Let's see how it works with no angular momentum. Okay, now we'll use little Tony break action without any rifling, mind you, and see if we still have stability. Same loads. Same load. It'd be interesting if the velocity is any different, too. People have asked that. Center. Oh yeah. Oh, we got an error. Okay. Using the smoothbore shotgun, we had, again, excellent stability. Also, this proves that you don't have to have the hollow cavity in the base of a slug, of these Diablo slugs, in order to obtain that stability. So would you use that for home defense? That's what everyone wants to know. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be on downrange of that one. No. That hit pretty much point of aim. Nice clean hole. Yeah, that's out of a smooth bore, so. That was the smooth bore. So. Uh, we can't, you know. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> smooth bore, rifle bore. That Diablo shape works. Yep, yep. Let's find something else to shoot at. Okay, smooth bore break action again versus the monstrous head or whatever you want to call it. Is that a zombie? Looks like a zombie. Okay, so Maybe far they're they accurate as heck, man. I think he's been eating those Tide Pods. Yeah, oh. okay, I'm ready. 
Wow. 556? That doesn't seem right, but we might argue. You got him in the eyeball? Got him in the eye. Wow. Going for the brain. That's the easiest access to the brain, through the eye. That's true. Some people are too hard-hitted there. But did it go through? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no problem. Freaking Fimo, Philo. What is, what is it? Fimo, Fimo. That's the wadding caught us here. Oh, okay, okay. Took off his cheek. Very cool. Yeah, the wadding does a lot of damage, too. Yeah. We're about, how? 10 yards? 10 yeah. yards, about right. Okay. Yeah. You think you can hit some at further distance? Yeah. All we can do is try it and find yeah. out. We, yeah. we got yeah. one left. Most people are going to have a smooth bore or a modified bore, so I think uh, very few people are going to have a full rifle barrel. Okay. So I think this would be a, a good example of what you can expect out of hobby clay. <laughs> 35 yeah. nautical yards. 35 nautical yards. Whatever that is. See if he can even get close to that sucker. <laughs> Yeah, if you can hit that, then you deserve to win a shotgun or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to go for center mass. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Oh, I think it just went over his shoulder. I think so. It had a, not much drop to it. No, it looked like uh, just drifted left a little bit. <laughs> there you go. That was our last one, so hey, we tried. But not too... Not too shabby, because I predicted those things would shatter when we shot them, just from the acceleration. Well, I'd say if you were desperate and you had nothing else, these would work. Yeah, they just yeah. take an incredibly long time to bake and make and everything, though. <laughs> but not bad. Now I'm happy to announce that we've gotten over 600 patrons, patrons, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> anyway, these are a small handful of our viewers who believe in our channel enough to support us. Give us a uh, dollar or five dollars or whatever. I, I, I'm surprised we have more than six patrons. So thank you guys and thank you everyone for your kind comments and suggestions.